Pinnacle's plan was simple. He would call Hennessy and tell him I was chasing him around the prison or something. Hennessy would jump like a racehorse at the prospect of shutting me up for good. Look out! He's over here! I need backup! He's going for the radio. I gotta stop that guy before he gets Hennessy on the horn. Hennessy, come in! Come in! Hey, Dick, you copy? This stupid... What's the damn frequency? I gotta get to the evidence room before Hennessy gets back. Radio's in the dispatch cage and in the black and whites. You can't let these crooks call this in or I'm finished. that call just yet. I gotta shut down their communications before I move on. Supervisor's logging to shut this thing down. Damn it, they're going for the radios and the squad cars. Can't let them reach Hennessy. Hennessy, come in! That's stupid. What's the damn frequency? Thank <laughs> you. 
I gotta find Hennessy stash before his crew gets back here.
There we go. With the power cut to the basement doors, they ought to swing right open. It. This is where Hennessy kept his treasure cleverly disguised as criminal evidence. You know civilization is collapsing when there's nobody policing the police. This city is rotting from the inside out. I'd seen those masks before, in the cemetery and at the pier. Now I knew how I'd been blasting, Gak boys in disguise. Hennessy had been trying to kill me since I escaped the chair. This looked like what I came for, and more. I'm sure if I stuck around long enough, I'd find all sorts of bad voodoo that could take Hennessy to his grave. But this would be plenty, and it wouldn't be much longer before Hennessy's posse realized I wasn't at the prison anymore. Taking Hennessy down was certainly a priority, but I couldn't help but feel wrong about giving Pinnacle a clean record to work off of. Maybe I could kill two birds with one stone. Gloria, it's Jack. I think I've got something you'd be very interested in seeing. All units, report! Area clear! Looks like I got company. Time to get the hell out of here.
J Jack. I, I hadn't heard from you and started to worry. I'm fine. Here, this is all the dirt you need to see Pinnacle get beaten down. First in the election, then maybe in a prison yard if we're lucky. You know, when I hired your father to dig that up, I, I had no idea how serious things were going to get. Yeah, we'll take this to the press or whatever, but don't take it to the police. They're in on it. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what is this? What are you doing? Pinnacle said he'd kill me if I didn't cooperate. I I'm sorry, Jack but I'm pulling out of the election. But you got him by the balls. The information in that bundle Will could... get me killed. I don't know how you can live day to day in the face of fear, but I don't have your kind of stamina. I thought by surrounding myself in a public office with people fighting by my side, I could battle the corruption, but not alone. Gloria. Vote for her anyway, huh? Hildy, what are you... Where were you? Are you okay? Are you kidding? I'm, I'm fine. I'm set. Finally. What are you... The hook said the stuff was worth a lot. Promised me a small fortune if I got it for him. And God knows I got bills. Sorry, Jack. Just let me do this. But what about... I, I thought when this was over we could... Look, there is no we, Jack. Your father was killed. I felt bad for you. You were hurt. I helped you out. I'm flattered you thought about me that way, but, well, you shouldn't. You're saying you'd shoot me? <sighs> Let's not find out. Look, I've been struggling my entire life. I can't even hang on to a lousy job for more than a couple of weeks. You actually think I could live on a cop's salary, sitting by the phone every night, wait waiting for that call from the captain telling me I'm on my own again? Please. Just stay out of this, Jack. For your own sake. She didn't look the same. I don't know what Fahook did to her, but she wasn't the girl I always admired from afar anymore. I guess it took her pointing a gun at me and noticed that part of her I subconsciously ignored. I guess the Hildy I knew never existed. She was just a character played by a desperate actress and I wasn't buying it. The chances were, she was headed for her final curtain. I followed her all the way out to Warden Air Force Base, one of those places that had been shut down by Congress and left moldering in the fog. It looked like Fahook was getting out of the country for a while until things cooled down. I doubt Hildy had any idea what she was getting herself involved in. She was in way over her head this time, and despite everything, I couldn't just let her walk in there like a lamb to slaughter. I don't know, but the hooks are to let her in and lock the door behind her. Dude, she was hot. Tell me about it. You should see her on stage. I got a bad feeling about this. I gotta get the Hildy fast.
be another way in. Try one of the Karaoke, Unit asshole. 117 Alpha 92 reporting. That ought to do it. Now I can get out of here.
switch.